losing hope and having freedom is something you might never truly appreciate until it is taken away from you. A man from Berkeley knows what that's like. He woke up day after day in a Venezuelan prison wondering what would happen to him next. And in all of the horrifying scenarios he must have pictured, he probably did not imagine this. Stepping off a plane in Texas, part of a major prisoner swap between the United States and the country of Venezuela. The U.S. brokered a deal for every American being held in Venezuela to be released in exchange for the U.S. releasing a notorious Venezuelan fugitive. Andrea Nakano is here. She's got more on the Berkeley man who ended up behind bars abroad and what he said the moment he was back on American soil tonight. I mean, how good he must feel tonight. Savoy, right, was arrested on October 20th, but according to his family, charges were never filed in his case. In fact, they were forced to pay a hefty ransom and they could barely afford it. After months of negotiations between the two countries, Savoy Wright was finally freed and he is giving us a glimpse of what he experienced the last couple of months. Towering at six foot ten inches, family members call Savoy Wright a gentle giant. He landed Thursday night in Texas. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, free at last. Uh, very emotional, exciting, grateful. Wright wouldn't share specific details about his time behind bars in Venezuela, but was held without formal charges being filed and was not allowed to see an attorney. Incarcerated, held in, in Venezuela, uh, kidnapping extortion, deten detained and in jail. Wright's arrest came just days after the Biden administration imposed crippling oil sanctions on Nicolas Maduro's government. The Berkeley native says during the hard times he had to go to a spiritual place, but he acknowledged he met angels that helped him along the way. Wright sensed a deal for his freedom was being worked on in the last several days, but is slightly in shock to finally be back home. I didn't know if I would ever make it out. And it's, it's really scary to be in a place where you're used to having freedoms and you're locked into a cell, sometimes with, with four other people, a very tiny cell. And to, to realize, am I ever going to get out of this? Am I ever going to make it home? How, how did I get to this point? So Wright divided his time between Oakland, Miami, and South America as he worked remotely as a mortgage loan officer. That's what led his to his travels overseas. And his family couldn't make it in time to greet him as he got off the plane, but they were finally able to FaceTime and catch up. So very yeah. relieved for the Wright family. I'm sure they were kept posted along the way, maybe mm -hmm. not in great detail from the United States government, but right. imagine how they felt just... Apparently, they were talking to other inmates that were with him, and they were only able to talk to Savoy once. So they were getting a lot of information from people around him. Wow, they probably feel great tonight. Andrea, thank you so much. We appreciate you bringing us that story. We're now following some breaking news tonight that is truly tragic out of Oakley, where a pizza delivery driver was shot to death in front of his own home and in front of his own mother. Oakley police say the 24-year-old was on break from his delivery job late this afternoon when he parked in front of his house on Rutherford Lane near Vintage Parkway. Another car pulled up next to his. A passenger got out and shot him at close range before driving away. Police say the victim's mother saw it all. So far, officers have not released any information about the suspects.